Despite the name lead, the core of a pencil isn't actually made of lead. It's made primarily of graphite, a form of carbon that's very abundant in the Earth's crust. To produce pencil leads, they combine graphite powder with water and clay. The higher the ratio of clay, the harder the lead. Quality graphite pencil leads don't break easily and glide smoothly on the page. Graphite is mined from both open pit mines and shaft mines, like this one in Germany. Miners use hammer drills to bore holes for explosives. The chunks of ore must contain at least 30% graphite to make the area financially viable for mining. At the surface, a crusher breaks the ore into small pieces. Then, adding water and oil, they pulverize it in a rotating mill. This ore soup then flows into a system that separates the graphite from the impurities. The graphite particles cling to the air bubbles and float to the surface. Skimmers send this layer of graphite foam back into the mill. Five cycles later, the graphite concentration is 96%. However, it's soaking wet, so it has to go into a dryer. After spinning around at 572 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 seconds, the graphite becomes a completely dry, fine powder. Mined and processed, it's ready to be shipped to the pencil factory. To make pencil leads, the factory combines graphite powder with clay and water. During the 35-minute mixing cycle, it's critical to control the blending speed, pressure, temperature, and moisture level. This produces homogeneous granules, the key to ensuring that all the leads will be uniform in quality. The granules go into a hydraulic press, which shapes them into a cylindrical block. Workers then wrap the block in film to prevent drying out and set it aside for a week to cure. They load each cured block into a hydraulic press, which pushes it through a forming die, producing one long continuous lead. Different dies give different sized leads. The next machine then cuts the continuous lead into pencil lengths. The leads are the right thickness and length, but they're soft and pliable because they still contain water from the mixing process. Workers load the leads into a rotary dryer at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. 12 hours later, the leads exit the dryer straight, but not quite strong enough. So next, they go into a kiln for 10 hours at more than 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. This firing transforms the clay that's mixed with the graphite, strengthening the leads to their final hardness. Finally, a 12-hour bath in a mixture of high-quality waxes. The waxes fill the pores in the leads, leaving them with a surface that glides smoothly across paper. Throughout the production process, the factory puts samples through quality control testing to check hardness, break resistance, diameter, and of course, writing quality. This company produces three different qualities of graphite leads in 16 different hardness levels plus a full array of colored leads, made similarly, but with pigment powders and waxes rather than graphite.